Okay, so Ray asked me another question. How cheeky. Getting two for the price of one, you lucky bastard. So Ray asked me about mental health to do with study, right? So mental health, right? I don't have time to talk about the entire spectrum of what to do to improve your mental health. So I'll talk about the main things, the things that I think are the most important. If I, if I had to pick like the top three things to do with mental health, right? Because here's the thing. Why do we want to care about mental health when we're studying? Like it seems like kind of irrelevant. A lot of, a lot of you might be thinking, what, what, what is this kind of, what mental health? What, what are you talking about, right? A lot of people don't care, right? And the reason I say that is because I didn't care. I used to think mental health is just bullshit, right? Like what, how am I gonna improve my anything in life by caring about how the way I feel, the way I'm motivated, like well, what does that mean, right? The thing is, the thing you have to realize that everyone has to realize that mental health is the level zero for everything, right? If you wanna become good at basketball, you need to have good mental health. If you want to become good at ice skating, swimming, tennis, maths, physics, cooking, you have to have good mental health. Because if you don't have good mental health, you don't want to do anything in life. You just want to stay in bed and not eat and not, not take care of yourself properly. You won't want to do anything. To so mental health, that's why it's the level zero for everything, right? People, people mention this. People talk about this stuff. Why? Why do the most most successful people care about their mental health? It's because it's the level zero for everything. If your mental health crumbles, everything around you crumbles. Everything. And you've experienced that in the past. Right? And you know that. So, don't try and convince me otherwise that mental health doesn't matter. It does matter. Okay? Level zero to everything. The stuff that you should be looking at, right? can vary from person to person but here's what i look at i'm going to summarize it in three points because i don't have all day to talk about the entire spectrum of mental health i like to look at these things right so okay there's that thing there's that thing and there is oh, what i was thinking about something earlier sorry my memory is a bit jogged right now okay yes okay i remember sorry Slight memory delay there, okay. Three things, sleep, exercise, and gratitude, okay. Bit of a weird one to throw in there, but I think it's the best for general mental health, okay. What does sleep do? If you have enough sleep, you function normally. That's just biology, okay. I don't have to explain that, you know that. If you function better when you sleep like a normal human being, like a healthy human being, right? That's biology, right? Exercise, that's also biology, right? When you move around and when you do things, your body feels better. When you exert yourself, when you train your muscles to become bigger and stronger, you feel better. Even if it's just going for a walk at lunchtime, it makes you feel better to get some sunlight on your skin, to get some of your body moving, right? I have a standing, I don't know if you can tell right now, but I have a standing desk right? I'm always on the move. I never sit down in the day, right? The only, the only place I sit down is on a bench at the gym, right? So I can press some weight. So I'm, I'm like, <laughs> technically, I'm always doing exercise, right? I go for a walk at lunchtime. I go to the gym at the evening, right? I do BJJ. I play basketball. I dance, right? Moving helps you. It's fun, right? If you've ever like danced, if you've like, maybe you don't dance, maybe you dance in your room alone sometimes though. And it feels good, you wanna to move to the music, the music makes you wanna move, right? And it feels good. It's not just, you know, the music, it's your body moving and feeling free like that. That really, really connects with some part of your brain. Why do people like playing sport? Why do people like skateboarding? Why do people like going for runs? It's because it's enjoyable. It actually affects the, the neurochemistry in our brains that much. You heard of runner's high? Runner's high is a feeling that people get when they start running, where it just, for some reason, it feels like the, the amount of like kind of neurochemistry growing on in your brain, you feel like you're high, right? It's, it's intrinsic it's within your own body. 
it's not so it's not a drug that's what i'm saying it's not what i'm saying here right when you run and when you get into running you reach a threshold at which your brain's like oh my god this is this is amazing have these happy chemicals and it feels so good i don't know how to describe it but it's amazing right and that's biology that's the kind of like biological side of it right gratitude is more of the psychological side of it gratitude if you don't know you guys probably know right gratitude is appreciating the things around you typically you know the, the typical self-improvement advice is name three things that you're grateful for every day journal them write them down in a piece of paper things like that i'll be honest i don't do that anymore i have that habit with me because i've done it for like three four years i just naturally have that with me right i'll be driving home and i'll be like oh my goodness look at that view i live in such a beautiful area right i'll suddenly like pause in the gym i'll be like man i was really thirsty just now i'm so grateful i have water coming out of a tap right or maybe I'll particularly enjoy a meal that I'm having, right? But man, this tastes so good. I'm so glad that I have like the ability to taste flavors and the ability to afford food when so many people don't, right? I'm so gl glad I have a roof over my head. I'm so glad about this. I'm so glad about that. Like that attitude of gratitude, <laughs> I'm a poet and I don't know it, is an attitude that is so counter to the attitude of nihilism right nihilism if you know what nihilism is it basically means that you're like a negative nancy you're like you're very negative you're very pessimistic pessimistic that's another word to use right gratitude is the antidote to this right it's the reverse right if you're grat if you show gratitude you can't be nihilistic you can't be pessimistic it's like the it's like doing the opposite thing right so that's why i believe that these three things are the most important right there's other things you know like getting sunlight in your eyes you know eating healthier or you know maybe meditating and these kind of things right but the most important to me sleep exercise gratitude Sleep is just a biological thing that I feel like most of us understand. Exercise, when we move, it literally makes us feel good. It with the chemicals in our brain, it makes us. It literally makes us high, right? And gratitude is an attitude that we can have that completely eliminates the opportunity for us to even begin to think in a negative way about our own lives, right? So once we have those things in check then studying becomes easy. If you enjoy life, then everything becomes easy, right? Everything starts with mental health, right? And what I mean by that, let me just write in red here just for, for fun. When your life is fun, right? Everything is easy, right? Fun equals easy, right? So how do you make your life fun? By prioritizing your mental health and looking at these three things down here especially okay you do that your life becomes fun and when your life becomes fun everything is easy to do you you go to the gym with a smile on your face you talk to that girl that you've had a crush on you learn that instrument you you know start a new sport you you start running you clean up your diet when life is fun things become easy that's why that smart kid in your class can study for so long or can study hard in general it's because his life is he loves life when you love life things are easy to do like look at what i'm doing right now like look at the time it's 4 40 in the morning i've recorded like seven videos already got up at 2 30 because i couldn't sleep i was like you know what i'll do some work and i'm happily doing it because i i'm <laughs> i'm happy in life i'm having fun right that's that's why it's easy for me to do this right that's what it is so that's why mental health matters i hope that helps out and that's about it that's everything right let's zoom out here yeah that's everything i have to say i hope that helps thank you very much for asking that question ray and i hope it helps so yeah cheers
Peace. I'll see you in a bit. Nice.